Hello there. This is November the 15th, 2022, and I have a general question. This is an anonymous question, and it's about the, the topic of the global power structure. And I explained in a previous video that there is a global power structure and, and, and that this is composed of a lot of different groups of people who are trying to work together for a common purpose themselves, and yet they find each other. They find these different groups being in competition with each other quite often, and that just creates conflict and struggle. And, uh, and that I would just call this a power structure. Uh, and, uh, and the question has to do with, well, what do we do personally? Because chances are uh, you are not uh, participating in this global power structure. Chances are you're not a member of one of these groups. Uh, I certainly am not. I was kind of a little bit for a little while, but then uh, when they asked me to become a permanent part of the group, I said, no, thank you, and so I was out. Uh, that's, that's pretty much what happened, and so I went and started a new life doing something else. But, um, but understanding that there are other groups of people, that there are other power structures in the world that affect you, uh, what what could you do? You know, what should you do? And and this is why we have a conversation about this because the decisions that these other people are making do affect us. And so we want to know. You know, we want to know what they're doing. We would like to know what their objectives are. We would like to know how they're going to try to achieve their objectives because. We have to make decisions for ourselves about our own lives and, and what other people do can very well affect us. All right, now I'll give you an example. Consider uh, the central bank. We, we have a central bank in this country. I think just about every country has got its own central bank now. But our central bank, the, the people, the, the head of our central bank, they, they recently made an announcement. All right. And the announcement was, eh, you know, inflation is just a little too high. And, and, our, and so th this means that the value of, of, of our currency is, is declining. You know, it's going down. Uh, prices are going up as a way to measure that. You probably, you know, n are noticing that things just seem to cost more than they did before. And so, so this person has decided, and this is just to give you an example, okay? This person has decided with all these other people, that, that, that they are going to, uh, they're, they're, they're going to do what they can to, to stop this problem, you know, or to solve this problem. So the, the way that they're going to do this, which is just about the only way that they can do this, is, is they're going to increase the interest rate that they charge or that is being charged in the banking system to borrow money. That's, that's what they're going to do. And, and the way that they, that they announced this was they said that we need unemployment to increase, all right? We need unemployment to increase, and we need to reduce the demand for stuff. That's what they decided that they would do, that they would change the, the amount of money that they, that they charge as interest for or the amount of currency that they charge for the currency that they're that they're loaning out, and 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 uh, and, and this is this is what they can do. You know, this is what central banks are set up and designed to do. Now, how does this affect you? You know, well, it depends on depends on how you're connected to the the civilization that you're a part of. But I want you to think about what that announcement was. They said that unemployment is going to increase and we're going to reduce demand for stuff. Therefore, you know, the idea is if you, we reduce the demand for things, well, then prices will come down because there's not enough demand to, to buy stuff. And that's how we'll control the inflation problem. All right, now let me, let me interpret this for you in regular street words, okay? In regular words that you and I use every day on the street. Let me, let me interpret this, uh, give you the proper translation of what this means. All right, this group of people 
who are a part of the overall global power structure. All right, they are their own little uh, unique group of people who have this uh, special authority. And, and, and they have just said that, they, they've just said this, they put it this way. They said, we have decided that a lot of you people out here around us, we've decided that, that you should lose your job. You know, we're not quite sure which ones are going to lose their job. That way, that way we can't really be blamed. But, but we've decided that we are going to do, do what we have the authority to do. And the end result of this is that a lot of you people are going to be out of work. You know, you're going to be told that you don't have a job anymore. You're going to be told to just go home, you know, and that you're not, you're not working anymore. And those businesses who, who had this job for you, well, you know, obviously uh, they're just not going to be able to, to give you this job anymore. You know, th those, those businesses who, who hire people, oh, no, we're going to stop that. No, we're, we're going to say that you, if you own a business and you hire people to do work and stuff and you pay them, well, we're going we're gonna to put a stop to that. We're, we've decided that you should not have people working for you anymore, or at least to this extent. So, you know, that's the way we've decided things are going to be. All right? That's what they said. And this idea of, well, we're going to reduce demand. Okay, let, let, me, let me give you the, the proper translation of this. What this means is, is, that, is that they have decided that, that we, need, you know, we need some more people around us who are poor. Okay, people just, you know, you have too much currency, you know, or what, what you would call money. You got too much money, you know, to use that, use that word in this case. And so we've decided that, that a lot of you you know, through unemployment and, and other mechanisms, whatever they may be, we decided that you, you shouldn't have so much wealth. So we're, we're going to take it from you. You know, that's what we're going to do through the mechanisms that, that, that we, we have control over. All right. Now, now think about that for just a moment. That's the power of the central bank. All right. And so the central bank has the power to decide if you have a job or not. To, it, it has the power to decide, decide if you can afford a place to live or, or to get things that you need or that you want. They have that kind of power, that kind of influence in people's lives. Now, because, like I said, because of the mechanism that's in place, they're not, they're not going to target specific individuals, so nobody gets blamed. You know, you can't say there's anybody who's at fault necessarily because we don't know we don't know for sure that it's really see what I mean it's all open-ended in this sense but the end result is that you have a small group who have this kind of control uh, as part of the overall global power structure and like I said there are many many central banks in the world they all have this kind of control over their own unique little place in the world all right, and of course they talk to each other and work together, but, uh, but this is important to understand because it does affect you in terms of whether you have a job or what you can get, what you can't get, all right? And if you understand this, then you can make better decisions, hopefully, for yourself on what you're gonna do for your own personal life, all right? Now, I cannot tell, you know, I can't, can't, can't tell people uh, what to do. You know, I'm not going to be able to tell you what, you know, what to do. All individuals, especially with, with, with a recording such as this, there's just no way that I can possibly tell people individually what, what to do. You know, all I can say is, is that you should be aware of the kind of risks that, that you face in the life that you're a part of. All right. And that, and that this does create problems for us in, the, in terms of the way that, that we would like to live, whether we like it or not. All right, now the, the opposite can happen as well, where they can make decisions so that there can be an increase uh, in the amount of jobs that are available and an increase, and, 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 and those create all kinds of other problems that we have to navigate and manage. So how could I answer this kind of question of what what should we do in response to, uh, to understanding that there is, a, there is a global power structure and it is composed of a lot of different groups of people who are making decisions that will affect us 
what should we do? All right. Now, this is what this is what I do, you know, and, and, and this is what I so this is what I encourage everybody to do. And I think that this is a one size fits all kind of an answer. All right. You need to take some time out of your life every once in a while. All right. However, often that may be once a week or once a month or once a year. You need to take some time and you need to really do an assessment. You need to really think about uh, what are your dependencies, okay, that you are connected to this world in, in different ways and you depend on other people for something, okay, whatever that is. You have, you, you, you have dependencies. You are part of an interdependent system, okay? And, and, and these dependencies can be described as risks, all right? And these risks are, are various. You know, it could be that people owe you money. You know, maybe you have some kind of, a, of an agreement with a bank or an insurance company or some other institution or a retirement fund of some kind, uh, even, even if a government, you know, may owe you money. So if people owe you money... Or, or if you have agreements with other people that you're going to give them money, you know, whatever these dependencies are, uh, you need to know kind of what they are because, because that describes the risk that you have with the life that you are living, all right? Uh, you could just simply ask yourself the question, well, in the next 30 days, what do I need to get? All right. What do I need need to go out and acquire for myself? And you could measure that as food, energy, right? You could measure that as a certain amount of money that you need to use in order to pay off debts. Uh, you know, you know, there there are many different ways that uh, that you can you can list this out. But but this is an approach to take is is look at well, what are the things that I need from somebody else? that I need to go get from somebody else, all right? And, and when you have a list kind of like that, then, then that tells you what your risks are and it tells you how you are connected to the world that you are a part of, okay? The more dependencies that you have, the more risk you have. And it doesn't matter necessarily which group you know, which family, which clan, you know, which uh, political party has, has influence here or there. It doesn't really matter so much when you look at the great scheme of things. What matters is that, is that you are connected to the world in a dependent way. And when you're not able to obtain those things that you want, okay, because of the decisions that other people are making, when you're not able to do that, then your life is going to change. So what you can do is you can reduce your dependencies on other people. All right. Now, to completely eliminate all of these dependencies would probably look like uh, you maybe buying some some acreage of land uh, with no debt, you know, somewhere out in the middle of absolute nowhere, uh, such that you only have to pay property taxes. And, uh, and you go out there and you just stay there for the rest of your life. And whatever you need to live, you just get from your number of acres that you've managed to acquire. And you never have any connection with anybody else. You never have any relationships with anybody else. You know, we could describe it in the total extreme in that sense. Or we can describe it in other contexts. And this is where it becomes an individual answer. So, so the, the general answer I can give with regards to what do you do in response to the, the changes in the world around you, in response to the influence and understanding the, the, the power structure as it is, is you identify your dependencies, what it is that you need from the system. When you understand what you need from the system, then... You can make decisions about either getting those things for yourself outside of the system, or that just means that that's, you're part of the system in that way. And you're going to have to continue to participate as part of the system. If you want 
to acquire what it is that you want from the system in, in, in that way. And then one day, yeah, it could be that you can't get what it is that you want. And so make decisions about, well, what are you going to do different if, uh, if you can't do that anymore? Are you going to get it yourself or is there going to be some other way to accomplish that? When the system that you're a part of, the community that you're a part of within the global power structure, when it becomes intolerable, all right, what, what that means is, is that when the system changes and your relationships with other people change to the extent where it is just way too uncomfortable, it's not the way you want to live, all right, at that point, the only thing you can do is go somewhere else, wherever that is. You just have to go somewhere else, you know, because you cannot, you cannot control, manipulate, or make decisions for other people. You can't really do that. And so other people are going to do their thing. They're going to live their lives. If they're going to be self-destructive, they're going to be self-destructive. If they're going to uh, be destructive for other people, they're just going to do that. And at some point, you'll just have to acknowledge and understand that if you want your life to be better, chances are you might have to go somewhere else and find those people who you can join, who you can be a community with. You have to go somewhere else. It could be another country even, uh, so that you can live with, with, with the dependencies that you would like to experience. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks.